Hi, Mark Kohler here, CPA, attorney, and senior tax advisor here at TaxSlayer. Now this message is for you, you TaxSlayer pros, and we wanna help you in those few minutes you may have with your client as you're preparing their taxes this season. Yes, tax reform legislation is on everybody's mind, and we wanna give you five tips, maybe the top five tips or takeaways from the tax reform legislation that might help you in that consultation with your clients. Number one, standard deduction versus itemizing. Now I want to take a minute or so on this because it's a big one. And what we're recommending is in those few minutes with your client, you want to quickly identify, is this a taxpayer that's just going to be better off doing the standard deduction, which is now $24,000 if married filing joint, or $12,000 if you're single? Or are they going to be better off itemizing? Now the reason why you want to identify this is because you're going to want to tell them, don't worry about certain expenses, don't worry about tracking them, you just hit the lottery, you're going to use the new standard deduction. Other folks, you're gonna to wanna to say, well, you better identify these and track them because we're gonna need them at the end of the year. So let's go through some of those that are really important that you can just quickly pencil down and have them on a little cheat sheet for when you're talking with your clients. Now let's hit the important itemized deductions for you to remind your taxpayer to track. Number one is charitable. No major changes there. It's still a great write-off. Tell them to keep receipts and donate anything they want to their church or down to Goodwill or Salvation Army. Number two, though, is the SALT deduction, the state or local income tax deduction. So for some of your taxpayers that own a home, they might be paying high property taxes and uh, or high state taxes. So if that's the situation, you want them to make sure and track those reports or receipts they might receive in the mail for you next year when it's prep time. The next is the home interest deduction. More to come on that later. It's one of my big five. <laughs> the next is the miscellaneous deductions is 2% greater than miscellaneous deductions. Folks, they got completely wiped out. So no more tracking those unreimbursed employer expenses or the investment expenses or even the tax prep fees. Those are no longer deductible. And don't forget the medical. I wanna throw that out because the medical is now back down to 7.5% of AGI. So if you have a taxpayer with some big medical expenses, you might wanna ask them about their medical situation and tell them to keep those receipts because those are now deductible over 7.5% of AGI, where last year it was 10%. So have that little cheat sheet to talk about itemized deductions for those taxpayers you think you're gonna need it. Now, number two, I talked about the mortgage interest deduction. Now, uh, I don't need to talk as fast because we don't need to squeeze in as much now, but we've got this mortgage interest deduction that a lot of people think, oh, it's limited to a $750,000 mortgage. And a lot of my clients don't have a $750,000 mortgage, so you think you're just gonna forget about that one when it comes to itemizing. But think twice, because now you cannot deduct any HELOC interest. So no home equity indebtedness. It's only acquisition indebtedness up to $750,000. So if you have a client that might be getting a HELOC or a home equity line of credit, on their home and they've got a lot of equity to play with, you might want to talk to them about that interest not being deductible again if they're going to itemize. Number three, another one to think about and it has nothing to do with the itemizing or the standard deduction, and that is alimony. Now this is a good one to bring up with your client if you know that they might be going through a divorce at the moment or you might know that there's some issues there that they might be talking to you about and divorce is eminent. Under the new rules, alimony is no longer deductible. That's right, it's gonna be taxable to the payor spouse when before it was a deduction for the payor and then the recipient had to claim it as income. So you wanna tell your client to make sure they're talking to their lawyer or if they're kinda of doing a do-it-yourself divorce that they're talking about that alimony issue because it'll be adjusted in the negotiations of a divorce from now on. So think about the alimony, maybe bring it up with your client. Number four, the moving expense. Gone, out of town, no more. That's right, you cannot deduct the U-Haul bill any longer for a valid moving expense. Now, the only people that get to take the moving expense are military personnel required to move because of the military. So bring this up with your clients. It's a great conversational point to tell them not to stress about keeping that U-Haul receipt if they have to move this year. Number five, the child tax credit. This is a great conversation point for some of your clients that are just newly married, starting to have a family or those with big families and thinking about having another child. This is a $2,000 tax credit up to $1,400 refundable. Also, there's a $500 non-refundable provision for those 
non-qualifying dependents. So you wanna to talk to your client about maybe who's in the household and who qualifies for this. This could uh, put a few more dollars in your client's pocket next year during refund time. Finally, don't feel like you have to be an expert to bring up one of these five points with your clients. These are great conversation points and just in a few minutes, you can really add value to the experience for your client. We too are gonna to be continuing to bring you more and more tips during the tax season throughout the year that you can share with your customers to add value and to help you and your customers save taxes this year.